Level 2 Award in Food Safety. Quiz 5. Let's see how good your food safety knowledge is. Question 1. Bacteria can survive in the danger zone, 5 degrees Celsius to 63 degrees Celsius, but between which temperature range do they multiply most rapidly? A. 5 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. B. 20 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. C. 50 degrees Celsius to 63 degrees Celsius. The correct answer is B. 20 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. Question 2. Which of the following statements about bacterial growth and oxygen is correct? A. All bacteria grow fastest in the presence of oxygen. B. Some bacteria can grow without oxygen, while others need oxygen to grow. C. Bacteria cannot survive in oxygen at all. The correct answer is B. Some bacteria can grow without oxygen, while others need oxygen to grow. Question 3. Which statement best describes how bacteria multiply? A. Bacteria reproduce by absorbing DNA from other bacteria to create new cells. B. Bacteria reproduce by splitting into two identical cells through a process called binary fission. C. Bacteria reproduce only when they form spores and survive in harsh conditions. The correct answer is B. Bacteria reproduce by splitting into two identical cells through a process called binary fission. Question 4. When should hands be washed most importantly to reduce the risk of food contamination? A. Before leaving the kitchen area. B. Immediately after handling raw food and before touching ready-to-eat food. C. After cleaning work surfaces at the end of the shift. The correct answer is B. Immediately after handling raw food and before touching ready-to-eat food. Question 5. Which statement best describes the correct order for effective cleaning and disinfection? A. Rinse, clean, disinfect, rinse. B. Clean, rinse, disinfect, dry. C. Disinfect, rinse, clean, dry. The correct answer is B. Clean, rinse, disinfect, dry. Question 6. Which of the following best represents the safe temperature range for cold food storage? A. 1 degree Celsius to 5 degree Celsius. B. 0 degree Celsius to 10 degree Celsius. C. 5 degree Celsius to 8 degree Celsius. The correct answer is A. 1 degree Celsius to 5 degree Celsius. Question 7. Which statement correctly describes safe cooking practices for poultry? A. Cook until juices run clear and the core temperature reaches at least 75 degrees Celsius. B. Cook until the surface is golden brown and the internal temperature reaches 73 degrees Celsius. C. Cook for a minimum of 30 minutes and ensuring there is no red meat when cutting. The correct answer is A. Cook until juices run clear and the core temperature reaches at least 75 degrees Celsius. Question 8. Which of the following storage practices presents the highest risk to food safety in a busy catering kitchen? A. Raw meat stored below cooked food but both uncovered. B. Raw vegetables stored on a separate shelf above raw meat. C. Cooked meat stored covered above raw meat in the refrigerator. The correct answer is 
A. Raw meat stored below cooked food but both uncovered. Question 9. Which sign is most reliable evidence of a current pest infestation in a kitchen? A. Droppings or gnaw marks on packaging. B. Open windows or gaps under doors. C. Food waste left in bins overnight. The correct answer is A. Droppings or gnaw marks on packaging. Question 10. Which of the following statements about food poisoning bacteria is true? A. They multiply most quickly in the refrigerator. B. They multiply most quickly in warm, moist conditions. C. They multiply most quickly in warm, dry conditions. The correct answer is. B. They multiply most quickly in warm, moist conditions. Question 11. Which action best reduces the risk of allergen cross-contact in a busy kitchen? A. Using separate utensils and equipment for allergen-free meals. B. Wiping surfaces with a clean cloth between handling allergen and non-allergen foods. C. Cooking allergen-free food immediately after allergen-containing food. The correct answer is A. Using separate utensils and equipment for allergen-free meals. Question 12. Why is accurate food labeling crucial for food safety? A. To allow customers to identify allergens before purchase. B. To help staff rotate stock and track expiry dates. C. To give information about cooking or storage instructions. The correct answer is. B. To help staff rotate stock and track expiry dates. Question 13. Which practice poses the greatest risk of chemical contamination in a catering kitchen? A. Reusing empty food containers to store cleaning chemicals. B. Storing cleaning chemicals next to dry goods on a high shelf. C. Using diluted disinfectant to wipe down chopping boards. The correct answer is A. Reusing empty food containers to store cleaning chemicals. Question 14. Which is the most important legal duty of a food handler? A. To keep accurate cleaning and temperature records. B. To supervise other staff and ensure compliance. C. To report food safety hazards and follow hygiene rules. The correct answer is C. To report food safety hazards and follow hygiene rules. Question 15. If a food business repeatedly fails hygiene inspections, what can happen under UK law? A. The business may be closed temporarily until improvements are made. B. The business can be prosecuted and fines or imprisonment may apply. C. The business will be required to provide extra staff training. The correct answer is. B. The business can be prosecuted, and fines or imprisonment may apply. Question 16. Which of these practices most increases the risk of bacterial growth in prepared foods? A. Cooling large portions in shallow containers in the fridge. B. Leaving hot food uncovered at room temperature to cool quickly. C. Using a blast chiller to reduce food temperature rapidly. The correct answer is. B. Leaving hot food uncovered at room temperature to cool quickly. Question 17. Which practice best prevents pest infestations in a catering kitchen? 
A. Storing food in sealed containers and cleaning up spills immediately. B. Leaving dry goods in open sacks to use them quickly. C. Only checking for pests when a problem is reported. The correct answer is A. Storing food in sealed containers and cleaning up spills immediately. Question 18. What is the main purpose of following food safety practices in a catering business? A. To ensure food is safe and free from contamination that could harm customers. B. To comply with local health authority inspections and avoid penalties. C. To maintain good customer satisfaction and encourage repeat business. The correct answer is A. To ensure food is safe and free from contamination that could harm customers. Question 19. Which of the following situations presents the greatest risk of cross-contamination in a catering kitchen? A. Raw chicken stored uncovered on the bottom shelf of a refrigerator. B. A food handler wearing jewelry while preparing ready-to-eat foods. C. Cooked meat placed on the same tray that previously held raw meat. The correct answer is C. Cooked meat placed on the same tray that previously held raw meat. Question 20. Which of the following situations requires a food handler to report immediately to their supervisor and stop handling food? A. A small cut on the hand that is properly cleaned and covered with a blue plaster. B. A mild cold with no coughing or sneezing during work hours. C. An infected gash on the hand that cannot be completely covered. The correct answer is C. An infected gash on the hand that cannot be completely covered. Please like, subscribe and follow for more food safety quizzes. See you next time.